So, how do we use that bow? You know, how do you know if it's appropriate for you? Zet bound is appropriate for you or if you are in the obesity category, if your BMI is over 30 um, or over 27 with a qualifying weight related um, ailment or situ medical, you know, situation. Uh, I'm sorry, let me just make this disclaimer in here. Please consult with your physicians. Just do not solely go off of what I am presenting you. Um, this is based off the information that I have independently researched um, in my experiences. Uh, so please always consult with your physician at all times in regard to anything, any type of question, inquiry, or concern on GLP-1s including compound compound um, medications. So Zetbound is changing the game is all I can say. It's changing the game. I'm excited to see where it's going. I'm excited to see where it goes with me. Um, I'm ready for my refill. Let's go with the refill, okay? But anyway, Zetbound, how do we use this thing, okay? So this is, obviously, this is already used. Um, I, what do you even call this thing? This is, yeah. Okay, obviously, it's already a used pen, um, just for a demonstration purposes. Um, you inject this into... I do um, a choice of two in, um, injection sites around the um, abdomen area, um, and you have the option of the thigh. I don't use the thigh. I just prefer, you know, doing the stomach. I'm not in opposition to the thigh. Do what works for you. I know some people play um, around with the uh, different sites. They rotate it um to see you know if they get a better um effect of appetite appetite suppression or um a lesser effect of side effects um but for me the stomach works do what works for you do it once a week the same day once a week um uh, it's up in the air whether you want to do it the same exact time um that day but that's not what's required you don't have to do it the exact same time that's you know a variance that can kind of you know yeah out of your control so um just make sure it's the same day and it's at once a week uh approaching when you're approaching your third pen you already need to be working on your next refill um just so that you can be right on time with your your injection day you're not waiting two days before because you can have all types of delays stuff can go under clinical reviews need further which meaning you need further authorization and that uh that can delay you maybe could conflict with the response time from your primary responding um so you know you could you could end up getting past that time that you usually are supposed when that day that you're usually supposed to do the injection so already start planning for that refill of the medication that third injection so that's pretty much it it's really cut and dry it's simple it's not really hard it's not hard at all actually it is a pin it is so it is a needle but it's a needle that really does not affect you to be honest with you even if you have a thing for needles this surprisingly you barely even feel it um <clears throat> You unlock it, you, uh, this is, this is usually a button that's raised or whatever. You push this button, but you unlock it. This is pulled off. I don't want to mess with that too much. And then, of course, with it pulled off, you push, you hear one click. You hold and wait. It's recommended you to count to 10 or whatever. Wait till you hear that second click. And then, you know, you have completed the injection. Also, it says when you see the, you see the gray part 
of the pen. You know, you have, you are done, but listen for the second click. And I count regardless. <laughs> I'm just, you know, OCD with everything. So, um, and that's pretty much it. Keep the medication refrigerated. This is according to what is stated in the manual. I keep the stuff refrigerated. I follow it. I follow instructions. I'm not that type to start customizing things. You know, I mean, I guess unless you feel like you need to, people want to customize injection sites and put stuff, you know, in different areas that was not listed, but does not mean that, you know, you have a negative effect by it. But if it wasn't listed as that option, you know, you could, you know, it could be hey, hey, on what, you know, what can come out of it. So I just stick to the black and white. All right. Um, but yeah, that's, it's just, it's what I have, I really, 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 also, 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 yes, eating lifestyle. Let's not forget about that. Let's remember that this also needs to be coupled with a eating lifestyle, high protein, um, low fat, mid fat high protein and I prefer I prefer low carb for me I do pescatarian keto so I do high protein I do mid fat I don't really do high fat I do mid fat and low carb and that seems to work there are keto options you can get keto bread um I also utilize one meal a day, OMAD. Um, so, you know, you could kind of, you know, play with different systems as tools to aid with this injection, you know, and not just solely on its own. You you don't, you know, a lot of people are doing two MAD, which is two meals a day or one MAD, one meal a day to help this on, you know, to, to, to boost results faster. Um, or, or you could stick to doing three meals a day. But for me, I'm just not that type of uh, person because I don't have time for all of it. I, I would love to, but one to two meal a days are, are fine for me. But just keep the protein boosted. And I'm gonna, gonna do some videos moving forward on protein options, the options that I use, especially if you have a busy lifestyle and you need some grabbing goals. Yes. Um, some of them is going to be, you know, processed, of course, protein shakes or whatever. But, you know, whatever works so that you can get the protein that you need so you can get the best results that you can. Retaining muscle mass. Because with any weight loss, whether it's aided by some type of resource or just naturally aided by you losing the weight without any help, massive weight loss is going to give you loose skin. That's something that I've been dealing with right here okay um still dealing with it but i have an intensive weight lifting regimen that i do every i've been doing every day consecutively excuse me consecutively for about 17 days and i usually take a break but i've just been on i don't know i think it's since i've taken this injection i've just been so focused so motivated so energized like i'm gonna you know i'm definitely gonna do all that I can to maximize the benefits of this. Um, I'm not going to just, you know, solely depend on it. I'm going to do my part. So you guys do your part. Do your exercising part. Weight training is definitely uh, another important factor here. Protein, weight training. Weight training and some cardio, preferably resistant cardio, because that all falls under resistant training, not just with weights. Resisting your body against the gravity forcing you to work other parts of your body through posture, all that type of stuff. Um, I do that moderate with moderate impact with a, 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 a mini stair stepper, you know, that you can grab $400 off of Amazon. Works amazing in burn. You could burn uh, 500 plus calories, you know? I mean, it's just stay in a systemized routine, a consistent mindset, and that's where I am. But back to the loose skin, because I really go off bounds really quick like that. Sorry, folks. But me losing all the weight that I did lose 
naturally from excessive exercising, from fasting. I was not intaking enough protein, definitely was protein deficient. That definitely was me. Um, and I lost it so fast that I didn't, I didn't retain muscle mass. I lost muscle. My skin is loose. And I'm not saying that you're not gonna have loose skin in general depending on how big you are. I was large. So maybe sometimes regardless, depending on how large you are, you may still have loose skin is inevitable. Um, but still weight training and resistant training is going to help tighten and tone you along the way as you are losing inches and pounds. It'll start, you know, forming in those areas of heavy fat deposit and looseness. Like, even though I got looseness here, I know it's still, you know, some fat. And as it's, you know, as I'm losing and lifting, I'm still toning and it's still forming and it's tightening. At least I'm believing it is. And I'm just remaining consistent. We positive thoughts, positive thinking here. That's the only way you can still stay grounded in this, you know, regardless if you have it, uh, injections or, or not. We have to still be in a mindset of staying focused. If you end up being off of it for a week, stay focused and stay in routine. That's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid that if something happens and I'm not able to refill it in time or I end up not, something is on delay or back order or a shortage is going on, that I will fall off of my exercise regimen that I've made myself completely diligently focused on and consistent doing. And it makes me feel great that I'm able to stick to this plan and still and see results. I honestly think since I've been on ZetBound um, and then I've been practicing my weight training and 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 cardio that I've I've I know I've lost some inches because I put on my jeans and they were looser. Um, and it looked like maybe maybe two pounds, maybe one or two pounds, and that's fine because I'm not trying to lose excessive pounds every week. I want it moderate. I want therefore you're more likely for it to remain off, sustain, and then my body can react to the loss without reacting with me losing muscle. You know, so there's so you know, my toning can catch up with the loss and all that. So I'm good. Um, I wish, I wish, you know, those pointers for you guys. I wish the best on your journey as you are living through this. This is to me a lifetime thing. I understand or long-term thing for people. Um, for me is a life. I, I think it's something I'm always going to, you know, need. I'm always going to need a, a maintenance injection. Um, when I, whenever I get to my goal, then whatever dose that I'm on, I'm going to maintain it. I'm going to maintain that just so that I can make sure I maintain everything. I maintain my figure. I maintain my, my lifestyle routines. I, you know, in, in a bit, something happens because life happens. Life be life in. This also is a hey, uh, aid to support when life be life in, you know? I won't revert back to a whole binge situation because I'm on a medication that will prevent me from doing that as well. For me to slap myself back into reality and be like, hey, stop eating, you know? So, hope all that talk was some good stuff for you guys. I love talking to you to you folks all right because we, we did something for me but i'm gonna get back at you guys with some more gop1 updates information weight loss related info whatever whatever it is for us to flourish in it to flourish in a healthy body so i'm gonna get at y'all the next video remember be real to you first.